Hey lovelies, so I will just admit it as a busy working mom, one dish dinners have totally become my jam. Not only are they super simple to put together, they're super yummy, and I have to tell you, Elle is loving them right now. So today I've got three awesome rice skillet ideas for you that come together in no time, and I think your whole family will love, not to mention the fact that they're all made in a single skillet, so cleanup is an absolute breeze. Just before we get to today's recipes, I wanna remind you that all month long, all of our specialty meal plans are available for 25% off over on healthymealplans.com. We've got our 12 week meal plan, which is loaded with all kinds of amazing recipes for breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. The best part is all of our meal plans are completely customizable. So once you have them, you can swap recipes in and out depending on your taste. Really, really versatile. And I can tell you from personal experience, they can be a total lifesaver when it comes to cooking for a family. Now, without further ado, let's get to our first rice skillet of the day. It is my Parmesan chicken and rice, and oh my gosh, guys, it's so super good. It starts, of course, with a nice big skillet heating up on the stove over medium-high heat. To that, I'm going to be adding just a little bit of oil. Now, for this dish, I am going to be using some chicken cutlets. I love chicken cutlets because, of course, they're just basically chicken breasts that have been cut in half and flattened out a little bit, so they cook up in absolutely no time. I've got these seasoned up with a little salt and a little pepper, and I'm just going to get them season side down into that nice hot oil. Of course, I'll take this time to season up the other side with a little more salt and a little more pepper. And then I'm going to let these cook away for maybe four to six minutes. You basically want them to get nice and golden on the first side. And then once you notice it releasing easily from the pan with your tongs, you can go ahead and flip it and cook it up for another, say, three to four minutes on the underside. Like I said, cutlets cook up in almost no time. So as soon as they're brown on that underside and they've reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, we can remove them from our pan and get to work on the rice portion of this dish. Now, to do that, I'm starting with a couple good tablespoons of butter. I'm going to add it straight into that same skillet because I wanna make sure that I get all of that yummy chicken flavor happening in my rice. As soon as that butter's melted, I'm going to go ahead and add some minced garlic to this, as well as some red pepper flakes. I like cooking this up for just 30 seconds to a minute or so, just until that garlic really becomes fragrant and delicious. Then I'm going to be deglazing the pan. So, I'm doing this with a good splash of white wine because I think it adds such a beautiful flavor to my rice. If you're not into cooking with wine, it's totally fine. You can skip it and just add a little chicken broth at this point instead. We're going to let this wine cook up for about three minutes or so just until it starts to reduce. And then we can go ahead and add our rice into the pan. I like cooking my rice, stirring it constantly for a minute or two. It just helps enhance its flavor a little bit. And then I'm going to get some chicken broth into the pan and bring that to a boil. Once the broth has reached a boil, we can reduce our heat to low, pop a lid on our skillet, and let this yumminess cook away for between 15 and 20 minutes or until your rice is completely tender. At this point, we're going to remove the lid from our rice and stir in even more great flavor. First up, I have got a whole heaping helping of freshly grated Parmesan. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon zest and some juice to this as well for a bit of freshness and citrusy tang. And I've also got some fresh parsley headed in here. I'll give that a quick mix just until that Parmesan is completely incorporated. And then I'm going to pile my chicken back into my skillet and pop the lid on this for another, say, three or four minutes. I just want that chicken to have a chance to heat through again. And there you go, guys. This yumminess is ready to be enjoyed. You can devour it all immediately or set aside some for lunch the next day. It makes amazing leftovers. Next up, how many of you guys out there love stuffed peppers? I totally do, but the truth is, these days I do not have a ton of time to be making dishes like stuffed peppers because they're a little bit labor intensive. That is why I am so in love with this amazing stuffed pepper rice skillet. So it's all the awesomeness of a stuffed pepper, but with a whole lot less effort. Now, we're starting once again with my skillet heating up on the stove. I've got a little bit of oil headed in here, and as soon as that oil is nice and hot, I'm just going to brown up some ground beef. Now, if you wanted to skip the beef in this recipe, you could definitely swap in some Italian sausage. That would be super good, or some ground poultry would work, or even veggie grounds. If you wanted to keep this vegetarian, you totally could. It's a really versatile recipe. Once our beef is in the pan, I'm going to season it up liberally with some salt and some pepper, and then cook it, breaking it up with the side of my spoon until it is no longer pink. 
Once the beef is fully cooked, I'll go ahead and start adding some veggies into the pan. So I've got some onion headed in here, as well as some bell pepper. I've got some yellow bell pepper and some red bell pepper headed into the pan, and I'm just going to cook them up until they start to soften up. That usually takes about three to four minutes. And then it's time to add our rice to the pan, and I'm also going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning here for flavor. Once my rice has had a chance to heat up and absorb some of that yummy flavor for about a minute or two, I'm going to go ahead and add some tomato sauce to this as well as some beef broth. I'm going to give this a good mix and then bring it to a boil. As soon as it's reached a boil, we can reduce our heat to low, pop the lid on top and let this simmer away for once again between 15 and 20 minutes or until that rice is fully cooked through. At this point, this yumminess is ready to be enjoyed. But if you wanna make it extra tasty, a la stuffed peppers, I like to pile on a good helping of shredded mozzarella cheese and then just pop it under the broiler for a minute or two until that cheese is nice and melted. I think it takes this dish from a 10 to about a 12 and a half. I know, a bold statement, but I think you guys are going to absolutely adore it. Finally guys, I have an awesome idea for all you vegans and vegetarians out there, or if you're just looking to eat a little less meat, I am making an amazing vegan jambalaya. And of course, a jambalaya is so flavorful, trust me, you're not even going to miss the meat. I've got my skillet heating up over medium high, and I'm just going to add a little oil to that. In this recipe, I am actually using some tofu sausage. So this is a tofu-based sausage, but it's still got that smoky, salty flavor that we love so much in sausage. And basically what I wanna do is get it into my skillet in some oil and just let it heat up so it gets crispy on the edges. Mm -hmm. Once your sausage is nice and crisp, you can just set it aside and get to work on cooking up those veggies. So I'm starting with my clean skillet again. I've got some oil headed in here. And as soon as that oil is hot, we are going to get some onion into the pan. I've got some celery headed in here and some green bell pepper. So this is pretty much what they call the holy trinity in Cajun cooking. Basically, these three ingredients are always used. They really are what make for that signature flavor that is so super tasty. Then it's time to add even more great flavor to this. I've got some minced garlic headed in here, as well as some Cajun seasoning. In addition to that Cajun seasoning, I'm going to be adding a little sprinkle of smoked paprika, as well as just a touch of cayenne. Again, if you're cooking for kids, you might wanna skip the cayenne in this recipe, but if you are into the heat, go ahead and add as much as you like. I like giving all that spice about a minute to heat up in the pan because as it warms, it gets even more flavorful. And then I'm going to add my rice to the skillet, I'll let that heat up for another minute or two. Then it's time to add some tomatoes to the pan. I am using fire roasted diced tomatoes. You usually find these canned in the tomato aisle at your supermarket. If you can't find fire roasted, you could totally swap in just regular diced tomatoes, but the fire roasted have a bit of a je ne sais quoi, I think. I'm also going to be adding some vegetable broth to this. And what I'm going to do once again is bring my mixture to a boil. And once it's reached a boil, I'll reduce my heat to low pop the lid on top and let it cook away undisturbed for once again, 15, 20 minutes or so. Once that rice is nice and tender, we're going to remove the lid and add our final ingredients. So for extra protein and fiber, I've got some red kidney beans headed in here. These are canned. I've rinsed them and drained them. I'm also going to be adding some okra. Now I do not traditionally cook with okra, but it is very, very common in Southern cooking like this and very, very common in jambalaya. I'm using fresh okra here that I've just sliced up, but you can also find it frozen at your supermarket. I'm also going to add my cooked sausage back into the skillet and give it all a good mix. I'm going to pop the lid on this and let it cook away for another three minutes or so. All you're looking to do is get everything heated through. You wanna see that okra turn bright green. And this yumminess is ready to be enjoyed. I love it because it's loaded with protein, fiber, it's got tons of great color and texture. I think you guys will love it too. I hope you'll give it a try. In fact, I hope you'll give all three of today's delicious recipes a try. And if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Keep in mind, all month long, all of our specialty meal plans are available for 25% off over on healthymealplans.com. And if you're looking for all of these yummy recipes, they're all being featured there as well. I will leave the links in the description box as always. And finally, if you haven't already, guys, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.